Hey guys, Wet Movie One back here again for another Blu-ray DVD update video for you guys today. It's been about two weeks or so since my last one. Got a nice size stack of stuff here to talk to you guys about today. Please forgive me and my nasally sounding voice right now. It feels like I've been coming down with something the last like two or three weeks now, but it hasn't. The you know the cold hasn't hit me or anything like that. I've just been having like the na you know like the allergy problem in my nose so forgive my voice if I sound a little weird right now but guys before I get started with it with the first one here please give this video a thumbs up if you guys support my videos in any way and let me know what is your all-time favorite horror movie ever let me know down in the comments but the first two up over here are from Scream Factory very very excited to talk about this new release right over here and this is the collector's edition of Child's Play over here on Blu-ray because I've been a big fan of Chucky and the Child's Play movies ever since I was a kid and if you guys don't know about this movie you're crazy I don't know what you're doing watching my videos here but it's pretty much about this crazy serial killer who dies and his soul inhabits uh, the soul of a you know the the little a good guy doll and he goes around trying to chase Andy and his family and you know take take out Andy and stuff like that and try to get his soul you know into Andy and uh, that's just a quick little synopsis for the guys who don't know it's about you know a killer doll man who doesn't want to watch this but I'm not gonna lie my, my least favorite Chucky film in the franchise is Seed of Chucky as of now and I know they're, shoot they're shooting one right a new one right now and I believe Jennifer Tilly is going to be in it that's going to be amazing but uh yeah what I'm here to talk to you guys about today is what's new uh, about this new collector's edition here on Blu-ray uh, you get an all new 2k restoration of the film which makes the makes the picture quality look a lot better than the previous edition you also get a new audio commentary track uh, by Tom Holland the director but uh, on disc two, because you, you get two discs in, on this set right here, uh, you get an hour-long making of uh, special feature right on here. But it's not a normal uh, making of special feature where, like, you know, interviews with the cast and crew talking about their experiences and stuff. It's like a real fly on the wall, like home video style uh, behind the scenes, with just like you know, on the set with just like a guy just showing people, you know, showing what the anim you know the people doing with Chucky and how his animatronics work and real fly on the wall, you know, behind the scenes kind of thing. Which I'm not gonna lie. I kind of skimmed through it. I, I couldn't. I couldn't sit through all of that. It was kind of just like, oh, it felt like a, like a like hour long family video. But like, uh, you also get a new uh, interview on here with uh, what was his name again? Uh, Ed Gale, uh, the guy who played Chucky in the film, who you know dressed up as Chucky, you know, for the parts where. Uh, the animatronics weren't being used, like where Chucky's like running or like jumping or doing something crazy. They had an interview with him on here, which I believe was like what twenty minutes long, which I thought was a really uh, a really good interview uh, with with the with the guy talking about how it was working on Child's Play and how it how it kind of changed his life in a way. I, I thought that was a, a, a really decent interview, and uh, you get all the original special features uh, from like the twenty fifth anniversary edition of uh, Child's Play that came out, and you also get the new uh, commission artwork, which uh, with you know Chucky on there and you also get the old uh, post art right over here which I think is amazing but if you're a fan of Child's Play Definitely uh, get this uh, Blu-ray right here. And uh, next up over here uh, is from Shot Factory also, Scream Factory. is the new collector's edition of, uh, what's it called, The Exorcist 3, also known as Legion, uh, here on Blu-ray. And, of course, this is, the, this is the sequel, actually, to the original Exorcist film. But it's like a really loose, you know, kind of sequel. It takes place over like 15 years after the events of the first film. And you get characters, you know, from the original film in this film, some of which are played by different actors, but uh, one, one of them's not, but like Father, Ma Father Marin or whatever, or Father Karras. In here, it's pretty much about, it stars, it stars George C. Scott and Brad Dorf, and uh, George C. Scott in this movie is playing, of course, uh, a, a police officer, a detective, who's on the hunt for the it was, you know, uh, the, uh, the killer that's going around the town killing people, and he, you know, he wants to get down to the bottom of it, and uh, yet there's this, you know, weird, you know, other stuff going on because this guy that he, you know, is going around killing people may be possessed, you know, b by a demon or something, and it's just him trying to get down to the bottom of it. Um, I always found this movie to be there's much there's much more there's much more going on in this film with like other priests and different things going on, but I don't want to ruin anything if you guys have never seen it before. But it's just a really well done you know, film, especially when The Heretic came out, it kind of flopped and stuff, and I'm not gonna lie, I always, I always kind of secretly liked The Exorcist 2, The Heretic, but like, as a, as a sequel, I was just like, ugh, this is a much more, uh, better, you know, a much more enjoyable sequel with much better acting in it, and the cool thing is about Shaf Shout Factory and their release of this, is that you get the, the original, you get the theatrical, and you also get the director's cut version 
of uh, Legion on here, or Exorcist 3, or whatever you want to call it, because originally this movie uh, was was being made, and it was just going to be called Legion, and, you know, put out into theaters and things, but they're like, yeah, this is not going to be more, you know, it's going to be more profitable if we call it, you know, Exorcist 3, but on this Blu-ray, you get a new 2K restoration of the film, uh, vintage featurettes, because I remember the DVD, uh, when it came out, there was really nothing on there, but you also, like I said, you get the new director's credit of the film, and you also get a new interview in here with Brad Dorf talking about his experience making the film with with William Peter Blatty, and uh, it was called. You also get like a was a twenty four minute documentary with some of the cast and crew members talking about their experiences, which was uh, made by Red Shirt Pictures, which was amazing. I really wish they had Red Shirt Pictures working on uh, this release of Child's Play. But like whenever Red Shirt Pictures in, is is involved, you know, with Shout Factory or making special features in general, they always make some really quality content. Really, really a great release here from Scream Factory. If you're a fan of uh, Legion or Exorcist 3, this is a high high quality uh, Blu-ray right over here. And uh, next up over here from Warner Brothers is a film uh, I really wasn't super interested in checking out, but I, you know, I, I'm getting it here to review, but like, I wanted to see it because I, I really like Margot Robbie and I love Samuel Jackson. And this is the new 4K uh, Ultra HD version of The Legend of Tarzan uh, over here. And uh, this, this movie uh, it takes place like 10, 15 years after the original events of Tarzan like, that we all grew up knowing and loving from like books and other adaptations of Tarzan. Uh, this is not a sequel or at all to anything. And now Tarzan and Jane are uh, you know living a normal life. You know what I mean? Living the high life, you know, dressed in normal clothes doing their normal thing but yet uh he you know tarzan and jane find out something really bad is going on in the congo and he you know people are being enslaved and stuff over there and he you know he, he goes back over there to see what the hell's going on to help you know help the people and save the day and it's his adventure that he goes on and of course there's like flashbacks that you know that go back and forth from like when he was younger which i thought to, to me felt kind of jarring you know, at the points that they they inter they in, inter intercut the flashbacks in this movie, but Samuel Jackson to me was my, was the, my favorite part of this film. You know what I mean? Like Samuel Jackson in anything, it just really brightens up brightens up any kind of movie. In, in my opinion, I, I I always liked him as an actor, but the action sequences were pretty decent in here. This is probably the better or the best Tarzan movie live action that we're ever going to get, I, I I think. You know what I mean? But watching this movie uh, in 4K really looked really lifelike and just absolutely vibrant, you know, with the colors and the deep blacks. It's just really, really uh, one of those movies that's like a, a staple when it comes to this 4K thing with the outside and the apes. And, you know, just like the whole color palette of the film just really shines here on 4K. But I'm um, on this Blu-ray right here. You get your, your, your behind-the-scenes featurettes on here. Uh, you also get a featurette on here talking about the vi the visual effects and, the, and how they, you know, got the jungle and stuff like that. Uh, really, really interesting special features on here. If you're a fan of Legend of Tarzan, I just want to guys let you all know, coming out on Blu-ray this coming Tuesday. And uh, next up over here from Warner Brothers also, so it's a collection of three films over here. It's called The Prince Movie Collection right over here on Blu-ray. Uh, in this set, you get uh, Purple Rain, which is my favorite one of the of the bunch. Uh, Under the Cherry Moon and Graffiti Bridge, all in one set over here, uh, celebrating the life of uh, Prince himself. And uh, right over here, uh, I, I like I just like the presentation of this because it comes in a purple uh, Blu-ray case, which I think is just super, super cool. And, of course, you get each film on, uh, you know, their own separate discs, discs over here. But uh, the cool thing is uh, about this set, you get a whole bunch of uh, special features when it comes to the the, the Purple Rain over here. Because uh, under the Cherry Moon and Graffiti Bridge, all you can really do get is the theatrical trailer um, on these films. And I'm not going to get into the, each of these films because I'll be here all day talking about it. But if you love the music of Prince... You'll definitely have to you know, get up on the set, especially if you have never seen these movies before. But you get, of course, audio commentary track by the director on Purple Rain. All these special features are all on Purple Rain. Uh, you get eight music videos. You get, uh, what's it called, uh, When Doves Cry music video, Take Me With You music video, uh, Purple, Purple Rain music video, uh, Jungle Love music video. It's just a bunch of really cool music videos from that time, which is just absolutely amazing, and I'm glad they uh, included this stuff on this set right here. But if you're a fan of Prince, I just want to let you know uh, that you can get the Prince movie collection out right now. And uh, next up over here from Warner Brothers also is another 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray up over here, and that is a movie I just really wanted to see because I'm a fan of both these guys that are in this film, and it's Kevin Hart and Dwayne Johnson in Central Intelligence over here. And from the trailers that I saw, the movie looked kind of mediocre, in my opinion, but I do love these guys as, you know, as actors, as entertainers or what have you. 
And uh, in this film, it's, it's about uh, Dwayne Johnson's character, who's a guy, that, who's, a, who's a fat kid in school, who's always getting picked on by bullies and made fun of and things like that. And uh, now it's, you know, 20 years later, you know, he's now a big CIA agent. He dropped all the weight. Now he's like a big, you know, muscle man now. And he's, you know, working for the CIA. And uh, Kevin Hart back then in school was like the most popular kid in school. Everyone liked him. He was the guy that voted, you know, most likely to succeed in life. But uh, yet, you know, now it's 20 years later, he's in a dead-end job that he doesn't like, and uh, he just doesn't know what he wants to do next. And now, you know, Dwayne Johnson, The Rock, is coming coming into his life now, even though in high school, they weren't friends, but they weren't enemies at all either. And uh, Dwayne Johnson's there to say, hey, man, I, you know, I, I, need, I need your help, you know, to get, you know, to help me with my CIA stuff. But yet, Kevin Hart doesn't know, you know, he, he's helping him out for CIA stuff, and that get, then gets caught up in the whole, uh, you know, stuff, the whole CIA game. I really do like the chemistry between The Rock and uh, Kevin Hart over here, but, like, I really don't know what to think about the movie they're doing, they're doing right now called Jumanji, the remake of Jumanji. What? The Rock and Dwayne Johnson, I would have never thought it would have been those guys in a remake of that movie. But, um, this movie does look really nice. On a 4K Ultra HD, like you really see like the skin tones of people a lot more, like like the shininess of people's skin, and it's like, you know what I mean? Like that that's what 4K is, man. It's just like really brings out the the lifelike qualities, you know, of people and the the action that's going along with it. But I'm on this Blu-ray right here. You get audio commentary track by the director, a gag reel which I thought was pretty funny with the with the guys on the set, you know, just being crazy. Really, really funny stuff. But if you're a fan of uh, Kevin Hart or The Rock, you guys might get a kick out of this. But it's not an amazing buddy cop action movie thing. It's just kind of mediocre, but kind of fun at the same time. And uh, next up over here from Warner Brothers also is the sixth and final season of Mike and Molly over here on DVD. Uh, this is the show I, I always really liked watching, and I'm happy to I finally owned uh, the complete series now. But of course, season the season six picks up where the last season left off. Uh, Molly is just wrote you know wrote a book you know with her mother-in-law, and uh, she's then now they're out there trying to promote the book. And but Mike is uh, going is on the outs with his you know police partner that he has because he's, he's a cop. And uh, him, him and his partner are on the outs. They're not really want. They don't want to be partners anymore. They're giving each other, you know, a hard time at work. And uh, it's just them, you know, trying to, you know, come to terms with what's really going on because no one else in the police force really wants to work with them, you know, because they've been working together for so long. It's just them trying to overcome, you know, their problems and stuff. But it's just a really funny sitcom. And I would have thought the show would have lasted a lot longer than six seasons, you know, in, in my opinion, because it's just a really. A, a really gem, gem of a of a you know sitcom, and I, I always really enjoyed it. And this is the sixth and final season, so I'm sorry, kind of sad it's over. And uh, just want to let you guys all know that the sixth season is out right now. All right, everyone. And next up over here from Lionsgate Home Entertainment, uh, and part of their Vestron video line is a new collector's edition of Waxwork and Waxwork Two uh, here on Blu-ray. This is their third uh, addition to their Vestron line that they're putting out on Blu-ray. Uh, the first one was uh, Chop. Mall. The second one was uh, Blood Diner, and now we're getting Waxwork and Waxwork 2 right over here. Uh, if you guys don't know what Waxwork is, uh, Waxwork is, was a film that came out back in 1988 that starred Zach Galligan from, you know, the, the Gremlins movies uh, back in the day, and it also starred, what's the other guy's name? I keep forgetting his name. Uh, David Warner, uh, who, who's the guy that curates or owns uh, the Wax Museum, and it's pretty much about these, uh, these couple of friends that are in, like, high school or college or whatever, who come across this wax work, this wax museum in the middle, uh, you know, of the suburb. You know what I mean? It's like not in like a business district. It's like right in the middle where all these people's homes are. So that they, they come across this and they get invited uh, by David Warner's character, the owner, saying, hey, come on by uh, around midnight. I'll give you guys a, a private tour of my new wax museum. And of course, the group of friends end up, you know, showing up to this uh, this event in the, in the middle of the night. And uh, they're going there. They're seeing these really big, you know, exhibits of like different things like a vampire exhibit, a uh, wolfman exhibit, like all these other, you know, different exhibits there. But yet one of the, one of the friends actually, you know, steps into one of these exhibits and gets transported, you know, in, into the exhibit and into like an alternate reality. And like he's in there facing, you know, the wolfman. 
and they're, you know, he's, he's, he's in the Wolfman story, and it's pretty much him just trying to figure out what the hell he's gonna do to get up out of there, and this one, one of the other people get transferred, you know, transported into, like, a vampire story kind of thing. The movie kind of turns into, like, its own little uh, anthology film, which I, I kind of I kind of dig about it, but uh, I always really like this movie. Zach Gallican is always, 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 always turns into a decent performance in his films, and if, I always really like the the little guy that, that you know the guy that answers the door at, at the wax museum it kind of reminds me of the guy uh the the guy from uh, what's it called fantasy island tattoo uh, a little bit but the picture quality is just absolutely amazing uh on, on this blu-ray here so, i mean it's not like you know the movie it's not gonna look like a movie of today or anything like central intelligence on 4k or anything like that but it does look uh, really, a lot better than the previous DVD edition of the film that I've seen. Waxwork 2, uh, I've never really have watched that one a whole lot. I always watch the first one a lot more because that's one I, I enjoy the most. But the, it, it picks up where uh, the last one left off. I'm, I don't want to ruin it for you if you guys have never seen it before. But Zach Elligan, other you know surviving uh, female of the of the of the first one, are back again and you know back in the shenanigans of this of the whole thing and trying to figure out what the hell you know how they're gonna do it to defeat this thing. But I, I just I really do like this release uh, that uh, the Lionsgate put out on their Vestron video line over here but you what you guys want to know is what the special features are uh, up on here you get an audio commentary track by the director uh, Anthony Hickok and uh, Zach Galligan you also get the theatrical trailers still galleries and you also get the Waxwork Chronicles, which is a six-part documentary on the making of Waxwork on here, which is like an hour and 22 minutes long, you know, with the, the people of the cast and crew, you know, talking about their experience making this movie, which I thought was really super cool. You also get a vintage uh, making of uh, featurette on here, which you get, like, you know, cast interviews on the set. Uh, of the film, which is like 22 minutes long, which I thought was uh, really, really cool, because I don't think on the original DVD release that I have of the film that I had any of that kind of stuff on there. From what I remember, it might have had a, a theatrical trailer, but on Waxwork 2, you only get the, a, a new audio commentary by uh, Anthony Hickok and Zach Galligan, theatrical trailer and still galleries. There's no, like, making of documentary on part two. But if you're a fan of the Waxwork films, this is a definite upgrade. And uh, the next couple up over here are from Lionsgate Home Entertainment. And the first one up over here stars Mel Gibson and it's Bloodfather uh, right here on Blue. And uh, it's pretty much about Mel Gibson's character who's, like, kind of like an alcoholic kind of guy who's, who's like, living... Like in the middle of the desert, in the you know, in this commune of other you know addicts and things like that, just to you know get away you know from normal life to try to you know you know silver up and stuff like that. And he's been there for a while as a tattoo artist, but yet he's struggling because years ago his daughter went missing and he doesn't know where she went. She he wants to know what what the hell has ever happened to to his daughter because she's been gone for years. But now out of the blue, he gets a phone call from her saying. Uh, Dad, Dad, I know you haven't heard from me in years, and um, I, I really need your help. Could you send me some money? We need to get together. These bad guys are after me. I don't know what the hell, what the hell to do. And he's like, okay, honey, I I'm there. And uh, but yet, you know, he goes there to help his daughter and finds out that she's mixed up into like, you know, like uh, not the mafia, but like, you know, some sort of you know drug war, you know, drug gang people. And it's just you know the back and forth between the two and him trying to save his daughter. Um, I thought this one was pre a lot better than I thought it was going to be. You know what I mean? To be completely honest, it was kind of, you know, like a taken rip off, you know, kind of sort of thing, kind of. But like, Mel Gibson is the shit in this movie. I really do like him. Ever since the Lethal Weapon movies, he's just a complete and utter badass. And in this movie, he's, he's, he's just really, really super good. And if it sounds interesting, guys, see, definitely check this out. You also get a, a making up featurette on here on the set of the film. It's pretty decent. Pretty, pretty solid film. And uh, next up over here from Lionsgate also is a film that stars uh, Adam Polly. Uh, Nick Kroll from the Kroll Show, and that is uh, Joshi over here, and uh, it's about this about this young guy named Joshi. At the beginning of this film, he's about to you know get in, you know he just got engaged you know uh, with the love of his life and stuff like that, and he's you know about to go on his honeymoon, get married, and do all that you know fun stuff that people do when they when they're about to get married or getting married, but yet something really tragic happens uh, to Joshi and. Um, I don't want to ruin it. We have to watch the movie to find out. Something happens and the 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 wedding doesn't happen, and so he he decides to go on his honeymoon anyway. Anyway, with a group of his friends, and uh, it's just pretty much him trying to figure out what he's going to do with his life after this this tragic event that just happened. Um, I found this movie to be a little slow at the start because like you like the first half of the movie is just like what what's the purpose of this? What's going on? Why? Why am I watching this movie? But then as the as the movie unfolds in the second act, you kind of 
realize why each of the each of the friends are there and what what each of the friends mean to joshi and i really do like that i really did i'm really glad i actually sat through the whole thing because like towards the beginning of this movie i felt like shutting it off you know what i mean i'm just like oh god generic 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 i was gonna turn it off but like i ended up really kind of liking this i love i love the the little the subtle performances in here by all the cast members. The movie you'll, on this Blu-ray, you also get an audio commentary track uh, by the actors and uh, the director and stuff. So if it sounds interesting, give it a chance. And next up over here is from Lionsgate also. It stars Paul Dano and uh, Daniel Radcliffe. And that is Swiss Army Men uh, here on Blu-ray. Uh, this is a film I was really interested in checking out because a lot of people were talking about it. Like all my like different friends of mine that I talked to were like, Brendan, have you seen it? Brendan, have you seen it? Like I, even, my, even my good friend Graham like just bought it on Blu-ray the other day. It was like... This is one of my favorite films of the year. So, like, I was kind of getting hyped up for this movie. And it's a pretty much about um, Paul Dano's character who gets stranded on this island in the middle of nowhere. And he's been there for God knows how long. And uh, it's pretty much him trying to survive and try to figure out what the hell he's going to do to try to get up off this island. How is he going to find, you know, salvation until so he sees this corpse you know, wash up on the shore, and it's, of course the corpse is uh, Daniel Radcliffe's character, and uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's, you know, a corpse, and it's him befriending this corpse, and what the him and this corpse go through throughout the movie, and how they form this, you know, friendship with one another, because, like, now Paul Dino's been on this island for God knows how long, and he's, like, you know, imagining things, like the corpse is actually talking to him, and all this stuff, but he's re it's really not, because the corpse is actually dead, you know, the guy's actually dead, and it's just, you know, with the craziness that happens on this island uh, that's all i can really say uh, uh, about this movie but it was actually really kind of entertaining and enthralling but i don't think it was the best movie of the year like some people are saying you know what i mean like i do i do appreciate what the what the filmmakers were do, you know doing with this film and but like I don't know. I, I just I just didn't love it as much as I thought I was going to. But um, on this Blu-ray, you get deleted scenes, a filmmaker Q and A on here. You also get a behind the scenes uh, feature uh, talking to Daniel Radcliffe and Paul Dano about the making of the films. All right, everyone. And next up over here from Universal is the Purge Election Year over here on Blu-ray. Uh, of course, this is the third Purge movie in the franchise. Uh, this one's about this uh, young girl at the beginning of this film who witnesses her parents get murdered right in front of her. You know, during the Purge, and now it's years later. Uh, this, this young girl is a, a young woman now and is running for president to help stop the purge from happening but of course there's these politicians in office that want the purge to keep going and it's just pretty much her trying to do her best to get into office so she can make the purge you know go away and that's just this, the little synopsis on this film it also cuts to this uh gentleman that owns this uh, liquor store who's you know trying to defend his store on purge night and stuff which i thought was my favorite actually was my favorite part of the film uh that's pretty much the synopsis on this one i, I thought it was a lot of fun uh for for a purge movie you know, don't go into this thinking you're going to get, like, an amazing script or, the you know, best acting ever or anything like that. But they're kind of, you know, because they're kind of like the Saw movies. They, just, they feel like they're going to keep going and going, even though from the sound, the look, the sounds of this one, uh, it kind of feels like it's probably going to end. But with the, with, the, with the money that these things are making and the way, you know, how cheap it is for them to make these ones, it, they're going to keep going, I think. But on this Blu-ray right here, you get deleted scenes and uh, the, the making of The Purge on here, which I thought was kind of interesting. But uh, next up over here from 20th Century Fox is a film I didn't think I was going to like as much as I did. And it stars, uh, what's it called? Anna Kendrick, uh, Adam Adam Devine, Audrey Plaza, and Zac Efron. And that is Mike and Dave Need Wedding Dates. Oh my god, this movie is just absolutely a lot of fun. It's about these two two brothers, uh, Mike and Dave, who every family, every, every family function that they attend, they always ruin it somehow, like burn something down hurt somebody by accident like oh something always goes horribly wrong when they go to these family functions but now their little sister is getting married and the, the little sister the little sister wants them to come but she says hey you know what you guys are gonna need to get wedding dates you know to calm yourselves down when you come to my wedding and things so you you don't ruin it for me so it's pretty much about you know mike and dave uh putting out this stuff on you know putting out this ad on Craig, craigslist or what have you saying hey we need wedding dates you'll get a whoever comes with us whoever we choose to come with us we'll get a free trip to hawaii and all that stuff so here comes anna kendrick and audrey plaza who are kind of like the you know the same exact you know, they're the same exact way that Mike and Dave are, but women. And they're like, you know what? Maybe we can get a free trip out of this and party down. And this is, you know, them teaming up, going down to the wedding and all this, you know, hilarity that ensues. 
I really thought this movie was a lot of fun. I laughed out loud a lot of times uh, in this movie. I really do like Adam Devine uh, from, you know, Workaholics. He's just absolutely funny. I really do love his humor. Uh, Zac Efron really knocks it out of the park in here. Liked him ever since the movie Hairspray. Audrey Plaza and, oh my God, Andrew Kendrick is so beautiful uh, in this movie. I just, I have like a little crush on her. I'm not even going to lie. You also get a gag reel, laugh o -rama, audio commentary track, deleted scenes, extended scenes. But if you guys love really good, solid, R-rated comedies, definitely check out Mike and Dave Deed Wedding Dates. Uh, but these next up over here, these next couple up over here are from Via Vision or Via Vision. And that is uh, the Psycho Complete Collection right here on Blu-ray. Uh, this is the very first time you can get all the Psycho movies, you know, one through the, the remake and the TV movie all in one set right here. Because uh, this set, like I said, it contains Psycho, the original film, Psycho 2, Psycho 3, uh, Psycho 4. You also get Psycho, the 1998 remake, which I think is atrocious, that stars Vince Vaughn on here. But you also get the, what's it called, the, the TV movie that came out a handful of years ago. And you also get the Psycho Legacy on two discs uh, right over here and with a buttload of a buttload of special features. So if you're a fan of the Psycho films in general, this is the set to get right over here. So like I said, it has all the movies, all these cool special features on here. Uh, like the first, the second Psycho has audio commentary uh, by Tom Holland, two theatrical trailers, vintage uh, interviews uh, up on here. Psycho 3 has audio commentary track by the director, uh, vintage interviews, also theatrical trailer, uh, you know, a bunch of interviews. Uh, of course, the remake has a couple of uh, a couple of uh, additional scenes, a uh, 30-minute documentary on the making of the film. But the Psycho Legacy is a two discs uh, a two disc set in here, uh, which I think is amazing because I believe the original Shot Factory release uh, of of the Psycho Legacy was only a one disc set and didn't have all these special features on it like this set has right here. But keep in mind, uh, this set right here contains five Blu-rays and three DVDs. The Psycho Legacy, which is two discs is a DVD set, and the, psych, uh, ba the Bates Motel that's featured in this set is a DVD also. I don't think that there's ever been a 1080p transfer of that film uh, yet out there. But I just want to give you a quick little look of uh, you know what the Psycho Legacy uh, looks like right here. Uh, you open it up, and each film uh, comes on its own disc, on its own you know Blu-ray or DVD uh, up on here. I really, really do dig this set. I've been a big fan of the Psycho films, especially the sequels. The sequels to the Psycho films are my absolute favorite. Uh, right over here, and you get the Psycho Legacy right over there. I, I do like how the discs are, are housed uh, in this set right over here. But I uh, just want to let you know you can get the Psycho uh, Complete uh, Movie Collection uh, right here on Blu-ray. But uh, next up over here from Via Vision is a TV show I absolutely loved, and I only, always watched them as a kid. And I remember buying them all, like, you know, separate versions of them on VHS and the big clamshells that used to come out. And that is uh, Goosebumps, the complete first season, and the complete second season here on DVD. I believe Goosebumps only lasted, what, four seasons? Uh, from what I remember, I just really, really uh, was really glad that the, this company is putting this out uh, here on DVD. Uh, I was gonna say uh, this this season right here uh, contains my very very favorite episode, just one I remember watching the most, and it happens to be the very first episode that ever aired of R.L. Stein's uh, Goosebumps, and that is the Haunted Mask. I always really liked that story uh, with that young, you know, the young girl who you know wants a really scary mask for Halloween because she's always getting picked on by a couple of bullies at school, and she wants to like you know really get a good mask and freak them out and, and scare those kids, you know, to, to no end. But yet, she gets this mask. She, get this, she gets this one scary mask from this, you know, uh, creepy little side store. But yet, the guy says, don't, don't take the mask. Don't take the mask. And she runs off and puts the mask on, and the mask forms to her face. And she's, now she can't get it off. And now she's slowly starting to turn it into, like, that, that, a creepy demon character and, and going around doing really creepy stuff. You have to really watch it to, to, to see how it is. It's, it really holds up to this day. I'm not even going to lie. A lot of the stories in these go Goosebumps, uh, these, ghost, these Goosebump stories really hold up till today, man. Like, I really do uh, dig these things. And I want to let, let you know that uh, uh, Via Vision put out the all four seasons of the Goosebumps on uh, on DVD. So if you guys are looking for Goosebumps, definitely, uh, you know, look it up online. Find Via Vision and you'll 
Get your hands on these. They're great. It's uh, Hardcore Pawn, uh, the complete first season right here on DVD. Uh, this is one of those reality shows uh, I watched a handful of episodes of on television. And when I found out that this company put this out on DVD, I'm like, I got to get it. I got to check this out again. Because it's pretty much like, you know, Pawn Stars, and but like a hardcore version. And it's about this family that owns this pawn shop in Detroit, like a really rough part of town where these people go in to pawn stuff to get money or get their stuff out of pawn. But yet these the, the footage that these guys capture in their store, it's like people going really crazy like you're not gonna buy my mom's gold tooth huh you're not gonna you, we, we need a hundred thousand dollars for my mom's gold tooth please and they also have like crazy people going into their pawn shop like trying to pawn horses you know pawn boats you know, pawn sheep, you know, like pawn the weirdest, like stripper poles and stuff like that in the, you know, in this show. That, that's what I really like about it. You know, I mean, I know a lot of it's probably set up and fake, but like, I just really, you know, love, love this show. It's just a, a really uh, fun time. You just watch it, shut your mind off and have a good time with it. Uh, but this set right here contains uh, all 10 episodes of season one uh, here on DVD. So I just want you guys all know if you're a fan of Hardcore Pawn, you can get the first season out there right now. And uh, next up over here from uh, Paramount is a film that I just recently watched today actually and it's called uh big somebody and uh it's pretty much about this really big pop star his name is jordan J. kind of like you know uh like justin bieber kind of character guy and uh He's he's on the road for like his, his big national tour. He's 17 years old. He's like the richest, most famous person in the world. But yet he uh, he's kind of sick of it. He wants he he kind of wants something else in life. And one day, as he's on his tour bus with his mom and whoever his management team and everything, the bus is pulled over at this little rest stop. And he says, "Mom, I'm just gonna go to sleep and you know wake me up when we get to Vegas for the show." But yet you know his parents or whatever go into the restaurant. He gets out of the you know he jumps up out of the the, the tour, tour tour bus. And, you know, just starts walking around the street and stuff. And then these fans see him on the street and go, Oh my God, you're Jordan J. You're the most famous guy in the world. Can we have a picture? Could you hang out with us? To blah, blah, blah. And then he, he runs away, you know, from these crazed fans and stuff. And comes across this uh, uh, beautiful young girl. Uh, what's her name again in the movie? Emily. And she's just like a, a, a lonely girl who's delivering pizzas, you know, for like a job just to try to, you know, make ends meet and stuff. But yet she's still going to school. She lives with her parents and things. But yet she doesn't really care that he's Jordan J. You know what I mean? Like, you know, ooh, ooh you're famous. Okay, cool. But yet he's lost. He doesn't know where to go because he's never really experienced life. He's always been like a really sheltered kind of guy. He doesn't know what to do. He's like knocking on her window in this, you know, parking lot somewhere. So I need your help. I need your help because these girls are chasing him. And it's just them, you know, after after a while, over a couple of days, forming this friendship with one another, and you know, and what happens between the two. Um, I thought this movie was really enjoyable for what it is. I I really did uh, dig this one right here. It's one of those ones you would be like, Brendan, what? Huh? I liked it. I, I'm not gonna lie. I liked the acting. I liked the whole the feel of the film, like the music, the tone. It kind of felt a little bit arty at times. But the music, uh, the, like the music, t uh, the score of the film is what kind of like kept me, kept me going with it. I really did enjoy it. That's Be Somebody here. And then uh, last up but not least is a movie from Lionsgate and it's called Six Plots. Uh, right over here. I believe this is an Australian film. Uh, from from what I'm mistaken, I have I have watched this one like two weeks ago. I watched this one like the day after my last update, so I'm gonna have a hard time remembering this one. Um, but it's about a group of friends going to like this, you know, this cabin, not a cabin, but like you know, like a big fancy house uh, for a night or whatever. But yet, when they go there, this one girl, you know, wakes up to find out all her friends have been captured and put into you know different graves and stuff and it's just pretty much her trying to figure out how she's going to save her friends and for, you know from all these graves and how her friends are going to you know get up out of them themselves because each of them of course it's, it's now it takes place during you know this time the new generation and everyone has their cell phone so like each of the each of the kids that are in each grave is you know they have their little phones and they're getting a message saying hey if you call the police if you call your parents you're dead if you call anybody if you tell anybody what, what's going on you're dead and it's just pretty much this one girl trying to figure out what the hell she's going to do to save her friends, you know, that are all buried in these plots and what the hell's happening. How the hell did they even get there? And uh, I thought it was okay. It's kind of slow. You know, it wasn't like, you know, amazing or anything like that. But it's one of those ones that's it's worth watching at least once here on DVD. But that's six plots uh, here on DVD. Uh, but guys, that's all I have to talk to you guys about today for my Blu-ray DVD update. Please give this video a thumbs up if you guys enjoy my videos. And I'll see you all next time.